we always talk about how everything's one big spider web and it's all connected. But the more we dive into these things and pull things apart, it really is true. Uh, one paper here we had showed that roughly 80% of dietary nitrates come from eating vegetables. And so beets are at the top of the list of being rich in nitrates. You've got the leafy vegetables, as you mentioned, like you've got arugula, charred spinach, you've got broccoli, you've got turnips, cucumbers, carrots, cauliflower. And then also you mentioned from the protein as well. So grass fed beef, wild caught fish, pastured eggs, potentially raw cheeses, if you can tolerate them, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, even spirulina. These are all going to be high in arginine, and that's going to help you as well. So this is yeah. pretty cool. I mean, it's uh, watermelon was on the list too, which is interesting. Watermelon's really high, uh, apparently in citrulline. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very and cool. I wouldn't be surprised too if if we find a connection with um, thyroid issues and a lot of the oxygenation thing with the coronavirus. Uh, in this one meta analysis, this is, I think this is powerful because we know nitric oxide. And it's a benefits on cardiovascular disease, right? We could probably ask our friend, Dr. Jack Wolfson on that. I know he recommends a lot of nutrients to help improve nitric oxide levels. But in this study right here, the literature discussed in this review together with our published data and preliminary results related to nitric oxide regulation and hypothyroidism suggests that nitric oxide levels could be a reliable marker for thyroid dysfunction as well. So we know nitric oxide can contribute to cardiovascular, but they're saying, hey, nitric oxide can also be used to assess thyroid issues, hypothyroid. Now I'm going to guess it's the low thyroids probably driving the nitric oxide. I think they have the roles reversed here, but they talk about that, um, that literally giving thyroid hormone, giving LT4, which I think is, I think they're referring to that as level thyroxine T4, um, actually has been used as a therapeutic molecule for improving cardiovascular related disease via thyroid dysfunction. So furthermore, the newly discovered role of thyroid hormone and the effects of LT4 on NO production may have broad implications in cardiovascular disease. So meaning what? Meaning oxygenation and heart health is connected to healthy thyroid. So we know there's a connection between thyroid and nitric oxide, and that's going to help with oxygenation. So if you have oxygen issues and or health issues there, we got to look upstream to make sure the thyroid's not a problem. It makes sense why we have the most numbers so far. If you're looking at the statistics worldwide, I mean, we have a ton of people, right? We're a very large country compared to some of these other smaller countries yeah. that are reporting numbers. So there's a lot of factors, but you look at the health of the U.S. As a general rule, we're not anywhere close to a, quote, native diet. I mean, you look at Japan's numbers. Japan has barely been affected at all based on the stuff I've been seeing. And these are people who... You know, they've got some of the oldest living people on the planet in Japan. They're eating their native diet.